A Chinese telescope just captured the clearest image yet of 3i slash ATLAS, an object racing through our solar system from another star. But while the world sees a blur of light, some are asking, why is NASA so quiet? What's in this image that space agencies aren't talking about? Discovery and Arrival On July 1st, 2025, a faint, fast-moving object appeared in data from the asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, better known as ATLAS, a survey telescope based in Chile. The detection came through an automated sweep of the southern sky, meant to spot potentially hazardous asteroids near Earth. Instead, it found something the software didn't quite understand. Initially logged as C-2025N1, astronomers soon realized this object was not from our solar system at all. Within a matter of days, orbital calculations revealed an eccentricity greater than one, a clear signature of an interstellar trajectory. It was officially reclassified as 3I-ATLAS, the third confirmed object ever detected from beyond our solar system. To grasp how rare that is, remember that the first interstellar visitor, Oumuamua, was found in 2017, and the second, 2i slash Borisov, in 2019. Now, only six years later, a third arrival, 3i slash ATLAS, streaks across our sky. That short list makes every new detection historic, because each interstellar object carries with it the chemistry, structure, and secrets of another star system entirely. What startled astronomers wasn't just that it came from beyond our sun, but how fast it was moving. 3i slash A T L A S cut through the solar system at nearly 60 kilometers per second, entering from an unusual high inclination angle, a direction that no known solar body follows. That speed means one simple striking truth. It will never return. Gravity from the sun or any of the planets isn't enough to pull it back. This is a one-way passage through our neighborhood, a brief encounter before it vanishes back into the darkness between stars. Observers at NASA and ESA, alongside researchers from China and Europe, immediately started tracking it. Telescopes around the world coordinated to capture its path, from Hawaii to the European Southern Observatory in Chile and the Purple Mountain Observatory in China. Each image taken was another puzzle piece, each night of data helping refine its path and speed. It became clear that this wasn't just another comet. Its light was dim, its color flat, and its orbit alien. Scientists described it as a ghost moving through the solar system. Every photon from 3i slash A T L A S carried the weight of distance, light that had been traveling for millions of years through interstellar dust before meeting our detectors. What we're seeing isn't simply a visitor, it's a messenger from a different birthplace, a relic of a planetary system that once was, now, crossing paths with ours. In the story of interstellar science, 3i slash A T L A S marks another chapter in our growing awareness that the universe is far more connected than we thought. These wanderers don't just visit, they remind us that star systems are not isolated islands but part of a larger cosmic ocean where debris, ice, and rock trade places over eons. And as this new traveler entered our field of view, telescopes worldwide prepared for something bigger, the moment we'd see it clearly for the first time. The clearest shot and roll of telescopes. When images of 3i slash ATLAS first appeared, they didn't impress, a faint blur in a noisy sky. But in September 2025, one frame stood out, claimed by some to come from a Chinese telescope, possibly Purple Mountain Observatory. It was labeled the clearest shot yet of an interstellar object. But clarity here didn't mean sharp detail. It meant successful tracking of a faint, fast target. At magnitude 17, 3i slash ATLAS is dimmer than most known comets, and it moves fast, nearly 60 kilometers per second. Telescopes had to adjust in real time to follow it. Stars in the background became streaks, but the object held its place. To reveal it, astronomers took multiple long exposures, stacked and filtered them, corrected for noise and atmospheric distortion. What emerged wasn't a point of light, but a soft, elongated smear. No visible surface, no glowing core. Still, this blur held meaning, 
Its shape, direction, and brightness curve hinted at physical structure. Some say the best image came from ground-based telescopes like Gemini South or even Hubble, but most agree multiple observatories saw the same form. As one astronomer said, we didn't stop it, we learned to move with it. That image became the base for every measurement, size, spin, composition. But it also opened new questions about what this object is and what it refuses to reveal. Shape and reflectivity mysteries. Zooming in on the best image of 3i slash ATLAS revealed no crisp edge, no nucleus, just a stretched blur, soft at one end, uneven at the other. Unlike typical comets, there was no tail, no coma. It looked like motion frozen mid-frame, but it wasn't noise. Across nights, the shape stayed the same, a sign of real elongation, possibly from rotation or closely bound fragments. Some think it's spinning so fast that it appears smooth, like a waterfall in a long exposure photo. Then came its reflectivity test, only 2-3% albedo, darker than asphalt. That's nearly invisible in space. It reflects almost no sunlight and emits no heat. What we see is barely there, a shadow of reflection. Even stranger, it had no color. Most comets glow faintly green or blue from gases like cyanogen. 3i slash a t l a s question mark just gray it's likely coated in interstellar dust processed by cosmic rays over millions of years that dust rich in tholins cancels color at a distance this is what age looks like in light a researcher said it doesn't glow it remembers and just as scientists accepted its stillness signs of activity appeared outbursts from an object too far to be active Something about 3i slash a t l a s refused to fit the rules. Unusual activity and composition clues. Despite its dark, quiet appearance, 3i slash a t l a s wasn't dead. In fact, it began to behave like a comet waking up, but in ways that defied expectations. Observations in August 2025 revealed something shocking a plume of hydroxyl radicals, OH, a clear sign that water was sublimating from its surface. But the comet was still beyond five astronomical units from the sun, a region where ice should stay frozen solid. This wasn't supposed to happen. Comets only get active closer in, when sunlight can heat their volatile materials. Yet 3i slash A T L A S had begun venting gas far from the heat, as if it carried volatile compounds unknown in our own solar system. Then came the reports of an anti-tail, a strange narrow tail pointing toward the sun, not away from it. Anti-tails are rare, and often the result of specific viewing angles and unusual dust patterns. But this one stood out. It held together too well, with unusual symmetry. It hinted at a dust structure that wasn't just being pushed by solar wind, but possibly ejected in a controlled jet from one side of the object. Spectral analysis brought even stranger findings. Researchers detected nickel and cyanide, elements that do appear in comets, but in odd ratios, and notably, no trace of iron. This composition raised red flags. Where did it form? What kind of star system ejects a body rich in nickel and carbon, but lacking metallic iron? The surface compounds offered more clues. The dark gray tone paired with organics suggested the presence of tholins, complex molecules baked into the surface by millennia of cosmic exposure. Combined with faint signs of carbon dioxide ice, it painted a picture of an object that had drifted through space for millions of years, untouched. One scientist described it as a comet that forgot how to be a comet. All these findings pointed towards something very different, an object born in another solar system with its own chemistry pressures, and heat thresholds. Not only was 3i slash a t l a s older, but it seemed chemically foreign, proof that planets form differently across the galaxy. But as the data got stranger, so did the challenges. The very tools built to study comets began to struggle. Models stopped working. Shapes didn't match formulas. It was becoming clear. This wasn't just a weird comet. This was something we didn't have a name for data challenges and interpretation limits. Capturing 3i slash A, TLAS pushed technology to its edge, 
At magnitude 17, the object was barely brighter than the background sky. Moving at 60 kilometers per second, even short exposures turned it into a streak. Astronomers had to track it in real time, letting stars blur while keeping the object in focus. Dozens of exposures were stacked, filtered, and corrected, removing cosmic rays, atmospheric noise, and telescope drift. Each pixel became data, carefully refined. But even after all that, the image stayed ambiguous, a stretched blur, not quite a dot, not quite a streak. When scientists tried to analyze it with standard comet models, nothing fit. Tools designed to measure coma size, brightness curves, and tail direction gave inconsistent results. The object's shape shifted depending on the algorithm. This object doesn't want to be measured, one astronomer said. The more they pushed to define it, the more it refused definition. It didn't behave like anything we've seen. That uncertainty led to a deeper question. Maybe this wasn't just an unusual comet. Maybe it was something entirely different. Classification conundrum. Comet, asteroid, or something else. From the beginning, 3i slash ATLAS didn't behave like a normal comet. It lacked a distinct coma, its tail was inconsistent, and its light curve wasn't shaped by solar heating the way we'd expect. And yet, it wasn't quite an asteroid either. The object's low reflectivity, strange outgassing, and rotating brightness pattern suggested something in between. Normally, comets from our solar system display a well-understood set of behaviors. They heat up, spew gases, and form visible tails aligned with the sun. But 3i slash ATLAS broke that logic. Its structure seemed more like a fragment, perhaps an icy shard from a planetary collision, than a classical comet. Theories quickly spread. Could it be a hybrid object, a comet asteroid blend, or maybe even a collection of fragments held together by inertia? Others speculated it might be debris from a planetesimal belt orbiting another star, the kind of rubble left behind in a system that never fully formed planets. What complicated matters more was its interstellar origin. Being born outside our solar system means it may have formed under conditions we've never modeled, with chemistry, temperatures, and pressures unlike anything nearby. And because our categories, comet, asteroid, centaur, are all designed for our local space, they may simply not apply. One planetary scientist put it bluntly, we're trying to name a color we've never seen. As the data piled up, the classification debate revealed something deeper. Maybe the problem isn't the object. Maybe it's the fact that our vocabulary isn't big enough yet. And that growing uncertainty started feeding a new kind of speculation, not just about what 3i slash ATLAS was, but about what we're not being told hide, narrative, and questions around transparency. As soon as images of 3i slash ATLAS went public, some people began to ask, why hasn't NASA shown more? The phrase NASA is trying to hide it started circulating in forums, headlines, and speculative videos. The reason? A mix of delayed data, limited imagery, and a mysterious object that doesn't fit neatly into known categories. NASA insists it's treating 3i slash ATLAS like any other interstellar object. Official spokespeople have dismissed claims that it's alien technology or some hidden discovery. It's behaving naturally, just unusually, one astronomer said, but critics point to the slow trickle of high resolution images and the fact that other observatories, especially one in China, were the first to release what some called the clearest image. Add to that the object's faintness, its brief window of visibility, and the sheer difficulty in observing it. And it's easy to see how uncertainty breeds speculation. Is NASA hiding something, or are they just struggling, like everyone else, to capture and decode a blur on the edge of certainty? Either way, the mystery only deepened once non-Western telescopes entered the conversation and claimed a better look. Chinese Telescope and Alternate Observations in September 2025, news broke that a Chinese telescope had captured what some called the clearest image yet of 3i slash ATLAS. Though the exact observatory wasn't initially confirmed, many pointed to the Purple Mountain Observatory, known for its deep sky tracking systems. The image showed a consistent, elongated shape, not just a blur, but a blur with intent, 
matching the path and brightness profiles seen by Hubble, Gemini South, and others. Independent analysts confirmed this wasn't a fluke, the shape was real. What makes China's image stand out isn't only clarity, it's that it matched global data from different hemispheres and instruments. Telescopes from Chile, Hawaii, and even Mars orbiters all saw the same structure. And that raised a new question. If everyone can see it, why did one image take the spotlight? Some said it's about timing. China simply shared it first. Others said it's a narrative shift, a moment where non-Western science took center stage. Whatever the reason, the data is clear. This was no isolated effort. 3i slash A, T L A S became a global event, and the more eyes on it, the more complex the story became. What 3i a T L A S tells us about other stellar systems. Every interstellar object is more than a rock, it's a message from another solar system, and 3i slash A, T L A S may be one of the clearest yet. Its composition, orbit, and activity reveal things that don't line up with how we understand our own planetary neighborhood. For starters, the darkened surface, rich in organics and carbon, shows signs of drifting for millions of years through interstellar space, absorbing radiation, collecting dust, and forming tholins, complex molecules thought to be key ingredients for life. Spectral analysis also picked up cyanide, nickel, and strange outgassing behaviors a chemical fingerprint that may reflect planet-forming processes in a system unlike ours, one that may have had different ratios of elements or different temperatures during formation. Some researchers suggest this object was ejected during the early days of a star's development, tossed out by a gravitational encounter, perhaps near a giant planet. It drifted through the galaxy until chance brought it here, and more may be coming. With the Vera C. Rubin Observatory preparing for its LSST survey, scientists expect we'll soon see dozens more interstellar objects. This is just the beginning, one astrophysicist said. 3i slash A T L A S reminds us that planetary systems aren't rare. They're universal, but each one has its own story. Reflection, why the blur matters and what's next. The image of 3i slash ATLAS isn't sharp. It's not colorful. It's a gray smear, frozen in motion. But that blur tells us more than a crystal clear photo ever could. Inside that faint streak lies trajectory, spin, reflectivity, age, and composition. It's light that traveled across light years, touched by no star until ours. And it won't be back. 3i slash ATLAS is on a hyperbolic escape path, leaving our solar system forever. The moment to see it, to understand it, is now or never. That's why this image matters. Because sometimes the clearest picture isn't the sharpest. It's the one that gives us the most physics, the most story. Even in its silence, 3i slash ATLAS leaves clues about where it came from, about what formed it, about how small our knowledge still is. Soon, it will pass Mars, fade into the distance, and vanish into interstellar dark. But its memory will remain, in archives, in data models, in headlines. In astronomy, every blur is a signal. And sometimes, the hardest objects to define are the ones that redefine what we think we know. 3i slash A T L A S will soon vanish forever but its blurred image leaves behind more questions than answers. Did a Chinese observatory reveal what NASA wouldn't, or is the truth simply buried in silence? In the race to understand interstellar visitors, maybe what we aren't told is just as important as what we see.